We've made this video to help you pass your shear wall inspection the first time. Shear walls help a house withstand wind and earthquake forces and still stay attached to the foundation. Shear wall inspections basically look at two things, shear diaphragms and their connections to the structure. That being said, there are many details that go into shear wall construction, such as the sheathing thickness and grade, the nailing pattern on the shear panels, the size of the framing members, and the placement of the required hardware for the proper load transfer to the structure and the foundation. The first step to a successful shear wall inspection is to have a legible and complete set of approved plans, engineering, and the permit on site and easy to find. Here's a list of eight common corrections we see during shear wall inspections. Nuts on hold downs not tightened. Hold downs not installed per manufacturer's instructions, including the attachment of SDS or self-drilling screws. The nailing pattern as detailed in the shear wall schedule is not followed. Over penetration of the nails attaching the shear wall sheeting to the framing. Missing double studs or three bys at panel edges as spec'd. Also the edges of framing members getting blown out by poor nailing technique. Windows installed before shear wall nailing is inspected. Hot dip nails are required when nailing into treated plate. Headers that don't go to the outside corners at portal frames. Seismic straps not installed per plan at portal frame or other locations. The Clark County Building Safety Program is committed to being part of your success. If you have questions about shear wall inspections or you want to speak with the inspector in charge of your area, call Clark County Building Safety at 564-397-4912.